Hey, good morning. How is everyone? Um, I'm going to do a few episodes of uh, Do You Know What Really Grinds My Gears? And I'm still, from, I'm still in it from Peter Griffin, and I'm so sorry, but, but these are two things on, on uh, PlayStation 4 that really grind my gears. The first one that really grinds my gears is when you send someone a message, right? I'm not going to say the name of the person I sent it to. But you send someone a message, right? And what did they do? What did they do? They wait two hours to send you a message. Now, why is it when they send you a message to you? Sometimes you get a message and it's like lightning fast. And sometimes you get a message and you don't get the message until the next morning. And it's like, huh. So you sent me a message even though I wasn't online and I was technically sleeping. And she's like, well, I sent you a message. Didn't you get it? I says, yeah. But I didn't get it until 7 in the morning. So she's pissed off that I didn't that I didn't reply to her, but she sent me the message. And I said to her, look, I'm in the in the UK, the time zones are different over here. So you said that at night, it didn't arrive until morning. So I says, well, okay then, I'm sorry. I says, well, that's fine, but don't listen. I said to her, listen, don't send me messages when I'm sleeping. It doesn't work that way because I can't read them. I'm not going to be on 24 7. And then there's another one that I send a message to, and her best friend just won't let me talk to his to his best friend. He won't let me talk to him. He's very meditative and he's quick to anger. Oh, he's like, oh, why well, are you talking to my best friend? I says, I've been talking to her for the last week. What is your problem? She says, you need to stop talking to her. She doesn't want to talk to you. I says, yes, she does. We talked to her in the chat room, and we're good friends. If she had a problem with me, she would have said so. Now, she sent me a message, like, just as this says, listen, my friend's a bit uptight, and he can get, he's quick to anger, and I'm so sorry he's like that. But he's going to be like that for a while. Just ignore him. And I was like, oh, okay. So, I sent her a message yesterday, and there he is again. And not only is he mean, but he's threatening to kick my ass. And I'm like, dude, didn't I just tell you? So I, I told him a hundred times. I said, listen, dude, I've told you this a hundred times. We're just friends. You need to relax and stop busting my balls. You do this every time. And every time I talk to you, it, it, it's like you can't get it in the head of yours saying we're friends. Or, well, you need to stop, stop talking to her. She's my friend. I said, that's clearly up to her. That's not up to you. You're a control freak, and you need to stop sending me f death threats. They're pissing me off. So I said, listen. I said to listen. Your friend is bothering me. I've tried to be nice to him, and he's just a jerk. And I can't deal with this no more. So I spoke to her online. I, I went to her channel and I spoke to her on her channel and we got, we, you know, we, we got off pretty good, you know, I'm, we're talking to her about a week ago and we're having a, a laugh about her and her friend playing pranks on each other and this guy just keeps bothering me when I'm trying to talk to you and he goes, oh, I told you a hundred times, man, I, I told you not to talk to you so she comes into the, ch the chat and she blasts him and it, she goes, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to be so overprotective. But as soon as she leaves, he goes, oh, I'm going to get you. As soon as she leaves, I'm going to get you. So I'm going to tell this to her now because she's probably watching the videos because she always does. Miss Love Girl, please control your friend. He is getting on my last nerves. He got to the point that he actually made two accounts just to be an asshole to me. Even though I had already said to him nicely, please stop bothering me. And then he hacked onto your account just to piss me off. I had him blocked the first two times because he was bothering me. When I'm trying to talk to you, don't let him talk to me. He's annoying. I've tried to be his friend. Miss Love Girl, I really have, but he's busted my balls over something that it's not sinking in that small head of yours that were just friends. That, so your friend 
is a control freak and it's pissing me off that he's so controlling he's telling you in a way who you can and can't hang out with and that's wrong you should be able to hang out with anybody that you choose to be with the guy is doing my head in and it's pissing me off i've tried to be nice to him it didn't work i've tried fighting with him it didn't work i blocked him twice it did not work you tell him from me if he bothers me again when I try and talk to you, I'm gonna lose it. Another thing, that's another thing that also grinds my gears about people. I don't know the guy's name, but when he sends me death threats on my account, it pisses me off. I don't know his name, but he's a jerk. So the first time I met the guy, I thought, okay, he's overprotective. I get that. So there's like, hey, dude, you misunderstand the point. I'm sorry. We're just friends. And it just goes right over this guy's head. <laughs> I said, dude, relax. We're just friends. We spoke on the mic before. She's cool. Don't worry about it. The next day I wake up, it's there again. Oh. Oh my god. I thought to myself, is this guy for real? Is this guy trolling me or is this guy for real? I thought to myself, what? I'm thinking to myself, this guy needs to take his medication and chill. Because now he's starting to... So, I block him on his on his account. He makes another one. He adds me as a friend just to troll me. I block him again. And he goes onto his friend's account. I don't, I don't know if he hacked into the account. But he goes onto his friend's account. And he does it again. So, I'm trying to be nice to the guy. And his friend is just a dick. And I can't stand people that like that. I can't stand control freaks. They bother me. I've had to deal with them five years in a row. I had to deal with that kind of crap five years ago. So if you're watching this video, whoever you are, you need to stop bothering me. When I'm talking to your friend, mind your own, biz mind your own business. If she doesn't want to talk to me, she'll say so herself that she doesn't want to talk to me. So until then, you need to mind your own business and keep out of my business, because you're pissing me off. I've tried so hard to be nice to this guy. I'm done. He is a bad dog. I like a bad dog. He's going to be put down by me. Because this, I'm going to take this old dog and I'm going to take him on the back and I'm going to put him down. So, first of all, he needs to stop being so rude, okay? Sick of all, tell him to mind his own damn business. He's your friend, he's your problem, okay? I don't mind talking to you, but when he talks to me so ma so mean and nasty for no reason, every day, it bothers me. You know, what's so funny about that? that he doesn't say that to any of you, of your friends, but it's always me that he picks on. Why? Because I'm the easy target, he's the bully. Oh, he's just saying, it's like, oh, well, you're just a bully. I said, no, I'm actually trying to be nice to her, and you're the one bullying me. So basically, he's a bully, and he's in denial. And another thing, people, when people send you messages, I, I said this in 2015, when you send a person a message, don't make them wait two hours to a day for the message. Because it's going to be like another day, and you're going to send something like, oh, Okay, and I'm going to be like, what are you talking about? You lost me. Oh, do you remember that message I sent you, that you sent me a week ago? I just got it. No, you didn't. Don't lie. Well, I was busy. Uh, no, you're not busy. We're in a pandemic called, um, COVID, and nobody's busy those days because they're always stuck inside. So don't tell me you just got it. You didn't want to reply to it. There's a difference. If I see a message on my account, on my PlayStation 4, guess what I do? I reply to it immediately when I get on. I don't ignore it, build up, and wait two weeks later to message it. It's just asinine and rude. So from now on, when I send you a message, don't make me wait for two hours and mid and at midnight. It's a waste of my time. Why do you go from sending messages like that to going, hmm, I'm not going to make him wait two hours or until the until the morning for him to get the message because because I'm a dick and I can be 
to stuff now, please. I said this two, five years ago. Please, when I send you a message, please, and I'm saying nicely, send me the message on time. Don't send me the message when I'm sleeping, and don't make me wait two hours to wait. <laughs> if you can send a message in 20 seconds like you normally can, why is it you go from sending like six messages in 20 seconds to going wait having me wait for two hours? I'm literally on the PlayStation 4 waiting for a message. Nothing. But when I'm gaming, oh, that's when the message comes in. And when I'm making videos, no, you don't send messages when I'm gaming or recording. You wait until I'm finished, and then you say, hey, if you've got time, can we talk? Sure. I hate that about messages. I hate that. I'm so glad when you when you had PlayStation 5 came out that the messages get blocked when you're gaming. I'm so glad that's a thing because I can't stand playing a game and going, oh, I gotta pause my game. Someone sent me a message. And another thing, I said it five years ago and I'll say it again. Don't invite me to games that I don't have. I don't have Minecraft and I despise Fortnite. You guys gotta get that for your head. If I don't have that certain type of game, don't invite me to it. Unless I have the game, don't invite me to it. And don't invite me to the game on my PlayStation Vita because the PlayStation Vita doesn't have that game. So when I get a message on my PlayStation Vita saying, oh, you've been invited to this game, how can I join you if I'm on my PlayStation Vita? Think. Just think and go, okay, it's obvious he's only on PlayStation Vita because the avatar logo is different. If you have a PlayStation Vita, I'll, I'll join you in the game there. But when you send me an invite to a game that I don't have and it's not on the PlayStation Vita, it's annoying. Oh, and another thing. Don't send me an invite to this game if I'm sleeping. <laughs> Four invites to this game and I'll be sleeping. You gotta understand people, when I get a message from you in the morning, it's the time zones are different. You live in America, I live in the UK. Ugh. So from now on, people please, if we're friends and I send you a message, don't make me wait two weeks to two hours for a message. Just send it immediately and don't give me that bullshit saying, well, I was busy. Do what? Nothing. Because we're in COVID, we're in lockdown, and we have nothing to do, and it, it's boring. You making me wait two hours for a message is not on. I didn't like it in 2015, I sure as hell don't like it now. So please don't make me wait. I've got three friends that do that to me, they'll make me wait two hours for a message, and I'm like, oh my god. This is annoying. It's happening all over again when they do that thing what is they send you a message and then you reply but it takes them two hours to a day to reply back I'm sorry but we just don't have the time 